does it have this in reality and also xiaomi rates this as a high brightness it the uh, the specific number of nits of brightness has not been mentioned so we cannot really tell that in reality but xiaomi has said that it has a high quality display is that so in reality let's test it out the first thing about the Redmi Note 3 display you will notice is the high brightness. The Redmi Note 3 has a non-linear has a linear brightness slider, which means that even low brightness is still very is still bright enough. Even when you go to at as low as 5% or 10% brightness, the Redmi Note 3 screen is still very bright. Unlike other Android phones, where below 50% brightness and on auto brightness, the screen is far too dim. To be usable in indoor conditions so this is a big plus of the redmi note 3 this redmi note 3 display in other phones many times you need a custom rom such as Samsung mod to rectify this issue the redmi note 3 display can also go, go very dim as you can see at zero percent brightness the screen is essentially looks switched off and you cannot uh, which, which is great for reading in extreme low light conditions on the other hand of the spectrum, the Redmi Note 3, its full brightness is extremely high at a suspected 500 to 600 nits, which is excellent. It also has the sunlight legibility feature, which aims to increase contrast dynamically in, in daylight conditions. So overall, the brightness of the Redmi Note 3 leaves no cause for complaint. Moving on. Moving on to the contrast, the viewing angles, the resolution, and the color calibration, we find that the Redmi Note 3 posts an, posts an excellent showing in all these areas. First of all, the contrast of the display is excellent. As you can see, the icons look the, the icons do not look washed out or or, or undersaturated. They look just as they should. Which is uh, and and the contrast of the screen is also excellent when in, in dark conditions where you can really uh, where you, where you can where you can really say that the Redmi Note 3's contrast is not far off. AMOLED in infinite contrast. Moving on to the view angles, we have we find yet another major strength of the Redmi Note 3. The, it has that painted on glass icons effect. As you can see on the camera, the icons look as 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 if they are painted on the glass. This is an effect that few Android phones and in fact few smartphones, even flagship smartphones, find this hard to pull off. The view angles are really excellent. They are almost perfect, offering 178 degree coverage. Which means, even when you place the Redmi Note 3 on a table, it remains perfectly viewable. Even when you, even when you show something to a friend, the screen does not wash out at, a, at angles. In fact, going on the view angles, we would say that Redmi Note 3 screens is one of the best we have ever used and it matches the screen of the iPhone 6s Plus. Going on to the resolution, the Redmi Note 3 has a 1080p resolution which works out to 400 pixels per inch. Now that's a perfectly adequate resolution and we, we are not finding ourselves missing Quad HD resolution. In any case, Quad HD resolution is not available in a single phone at this price range. So the Redmi Note 3 1080p screen is a perfectly nice screen. Text, text looks very sharp and we don't find any problems at, at all with, 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 any, with, with any resolution related items such as text, videos, photos, etc. Etc. The last major factor of the Redmi Note 3 display is the color calibration and here yeah, again the Redmi Note 3 posts an excellent showing as the colors have been calibrated. They do not look under saturated or over saturated. They look in fact close uh, they, they looked in fact close to reality with no and with no or minor deviations. Of particular em emphasis I would like to say is the Redmi Note 3's whites. They look very clean. They, they, no, they do not look yellow or blue. Many times it happens that phones are shipped with bluish color temperature or, or yellowish color temperature but the Redmi Note 3 in fact goes with or goes with very close to 6500 Kelvin which is, is the ideal color temperature for white. And as we have already said sunlight legibility should be excellent thanks to the Redmi Note 3's high, high brightness display combined with the sunlight display feature. So overall, we really struggle to find any complaints with the display of the Redmi Note 3, particularly when you consider the pricing of the smartphone. It's available for 12,000 rupees. The display has this display has no major flaws and is that and, and is in fact a treat to use. It's a, it's one of the major selling points of this phone. So that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you like the video and hit the like button. This this is Rich Patel. As always, thanks for watching.